Hey guys, let's take a moment to talk about what is going on across the pond. So if you're if you live in Europe and this affects you, I would love to uh, have a comment from you. Apparently in Europe, the spaces for these stores, at least in the major cities, are very small, and either these stores have to serve alcohol or have you know other income that Magic cannot support the store itself. The rent cost is outweighed by uh, the necessity to do other stuff in the store or to have the uh, play space which is not consistent according to Wizards of the Coast. So people, uh, tournament organizers in Europe team stores are getting their WPN status rejected. Uh, WPN is if you want to do uh, FNM, anything from FNM and pre-release all the way up to a uh, GPT or a PTQ, maybe even larger events, uh, the WPN is extremely important because that's where you get your promo, that's where you get your pre-release kits, that's where you get um, some of your product if you're not buying from a distributor uh, directly or if you're buying from Wizard of the Coast directly, that's where you would get your product. So the WPTN status is extremely important if someone is not... Um, able if a store is not able to get it they are not able to support magic so having that status means you can run magic events official magic events not having that status means you're kind of in trouble so here's the list of stores it seems like a lot of these stores in the uk definitely if you go to a store in the uk i would love to know what it is i'm actually going to be in ireland starting monday until i believe friday uh, but from Ireland, I can go to the UK. I haven't really decided what I want to do. Um, it is semi up to my significant other. She will decide if she, how long she wants to stay and where she wants to go. So I'm going to check out a few stores. I'm definitely going to check one out in Dublin, Ireland. I'm probably going to Google it sometime when I'm in Dublin or when I have time. And maybe I will stay a little bit in UK. I'm not sure. It depends on my work schedule. But I want to see like what's going on because I believe this is the case. In those large cities, rent is extremely expensive, just like New York City. Uh, Battlegrounds or Battlefield or whatever it was. When I first went, saw that place, uh, it was like in 2005. I want to say 2005, 2006. I went to the place to play Magic to do a pre-release for Descensions. And it was huge. I was like, how does this... How can they afford this type of rent um, just for Magic the Gathering? And the answer to that was they couldn't because then they went you know, belly up. And the same with a few other stores I know. Um, you look at the place and it's a really beautiful place. And it's like, eh, I don't know if enough people buy Magic cards to support you know, this, the, even the rent or the electricity and the bills. So definitely probably one of the most interesting scenarios where Magic is... Magic the Gathering, Wizard of the Coast, the Hasbro, whoever is in charge of this, is actually harming, harming its player base in intentionally by taking away these WPN statuses when there's really no need not to. Like, I cannot, you might say, oh, there's a lot of fraud, there's a lot of, but like, if you wanted to do fraud it anyway, and you just took pictures of the of a fake place and you made it look a little better, you would have done that anyway. These people are taking real pictures of their stores and actual stores, actual play places, and they're being told by Wizard of the Coast, it's not good enough. The door is not good enough. Don't serve alcohol. We don't like that. And it's like, come on. Like, you don't want to grow? I find that ironic.